as CEO, you have to constantly engage people and be an effective advocate for the Kellogg Foundation. How do you put your passion to work to win people over, over and over again? <laughs> Well, you know, I think, first of all, it's not hard to win people over when you're talking about improving the lives of all children. Uh, I think I have a message from a foundation that is, is endearing and people get that. But I think coming from that place of love and, and healing, which is what we're about at the Kellogg Foundation, it provides an opening. Um, and, and so while we're talking about, you know, provocative uh, things like structural racism and, and dismantling these systems, we're approaching it from a humanistic perspective. Um, mm -hmm. And our work, we have an entire body of work about racial healing. We call it our truth racial healing and transformation effort where we're funding communities across the nation to come together, build trusting relationships and partnerships just as we've done. And then from that space of commonality, transform their communities and address these systems that are most uh, harmful and disadvantaging uh, many people in their communities. The whole methodology is based on no blame, no shame, mm -hmm. uh, a level of, of humanity and humility where everyone is welcome into that conversation. Everyone can bring their own truth, their own story. Um, and we build a commonality, a new truth that's uh, more equally woven into what the community needs for the future. And then they all work together to achieve it. That's our style and approach on everything we do. It's a servant leadership. It's, it's about, mm -hmm showing up with a level of, of transparency and truth and uh, working within the truth of those uh, who are our par partners and learning to be, you know, have the level of empathy and emotional intelligence around the collective and not bringing the power to the table. And I think that's, uh, and we're not perfect at it. You know, we look at our results and we see where we can improve, but fundamentally it is the stance that you take in that conversation. And we choose to take a stance of humility and, and uh, openness and bring our DNA to bear, which is racial equity, community engagement and leadership.